People ask me a lot in the comments, Hmm, hey Lorcan, how do I start playing D&D? They ask me this on TikTok, not here. My comments here are like an abandoned desert that's still somehow filled with robots. Get out of here, C-3PO! D&D is a pretty hard topic to just jump into, especially because it's very complicated at first glance. There's a lot of maths. God, so much maths. But it isn't as hard as you might think. So we're gonna do a little bit of work so that you can just jump straight into your career as a TTRPGer. After all, the world sucks right now and we might as well escape into our imaginations. Let's go! So first off, let's talk misconceptions about some misinformation that exists in this Miss Universe. You don't need someone who knows D&D to start playing D&D. That's right, you can probably just stop this video right here, grab some friends and just start. It's not that hard. You can just go for it. This video is just here to help you get started, not to explain all of the rules. There are other things for that. Getting to that. Let's begin with the basics. D&D and all tabletop role-playing games are cooperative, meaning yes, we're going to need some other people. Sorry, I know, people are stinky, but you're gonna have to get some. My suggestion is try to get your friends to play. It will be really fun bonding time. If your friends are busy or not interested, then force them. I'm joking, don't do that. Unless... But seriously, that's also fine. There are plenty of people always looking for groups. Check Facebook, other apps that you may be part of, and or even fandoms that you know that you really enjoy. People will want to join, trust me. And I know, it's scary to make new friends, but there are lots of things that you can do. Adventure League is a great series of games that play in local stores, and you can just go and join in. I mean, not right now, but eventually, hopefully, maybe. And again, it's okay. None of us really know what we're doing at all, ever. But mostly it doesn't matter because... SECTION 2! Learning the rules. Now no one person really knows all the rules of D&D. Even experienced players often have to look up the rules, so don't feel bad if you get something wrong. Honestly, it's hard and there's a lot of things to go, but that's fine, just join in, it's all good fun. What you are going to need to do is decide who's going to be the DM. Maybe it's you, maybe it's not. If you are the DM, either use one of the many modules that already pre-exist, just pick it up, start it off, read the instructions and you're good. Or you can decide to write up your own. Just choose a couple of plot hooks, make a mildly interesting story, and hope that your players don't work out that everything is just lies. And don't be afraid to steal ideas from things that you've just recently watched. I mean... All of my players haven't caught on that my plot is basically just the Mandalorian, so... They're getting there! A note on the books. This might cause some raised eyebrows, but I don't think that you actually need the books to start playing. They definitely help and are very useful, but I don't think you need them, and this is why. A lot of material is readily available online in its basic form. D&D Beyond supplies all the basic classes and some easy class builds so that you are able to just start off. It gives you plenty of the rules too, but beyond that... YouTube is great. I highly recommend XP to Level 3, Joecat, Davy Chappy, Matt Mercer's DM Guide. Links below in the description. They will tell you about classes, rules, mechanics, to the point at which you are able to play. As well as that, Puffin Forest also has some great D&D stories which you would be able to learn a lot from, just on his channel, also in the description. Which brings me to my last point. This is not a joke. There are lots of D&D actual play podcasts and shows that you can just binge, watch, get lots of plenty of quick stories from. Honestly, just watch them and listen to the, what they're saying. You'll be able to pick up lots of mechanics, but also story ideas, tones, puzzles, and all things like that. Like, learning with most things, all you need to do is practice. There's no wrong way to play D&D. Play whatever way you want to play. If you don't like fantasy, but you like the idea of D&D, there are plenty of tabletop role-playing games for you. Try Star Wars, Star Trek, Call of Cthulhu, Western Cowboys. There are lots and lots of different ones that you can try. Play it your way. All of the things that I've mentioned are down in the description, as well as a few of my favorite actual play series. So please go and check that out. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and all those things. But that will do it for today. Day. I have been Lock and Doodle Fox. This has been my nerdy channel doing the nerdy things, and I will hope you all have the most wonderful of days. Keep sailing, guys.